All right, folks. Hello and welcome back to another quick UE5 sword tutorial. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to be going over how to recover um, content from a corrupted um, U project file. So what does this mean? This means that for whatever reason, when you try to open your Unreal Engine 5 project or your Unreal Engine 4 project, you can't. Anytime you double click it to open it, it starts to load. And then the next thing you know, you're getting an error code. Maybe something along the lines of could not compile, try rebuilding from source manually or something else. Now, I believe this even gives you an option to repile, uh, I mean, <laughs> repile, to recompile from source manually. If you do this, it may not work. Now, from my memory, because this, this personally happened to me uh, a couple months ago and I, I didn't know how to fix it at the time. So I ended up just starting over. And, you know, it, it really took some time <laughs> um, and, and, and it does, it does, you know, and it's just it's unfortunate to lose all your work because you don't know how to uh, recover it. Now, I could never open the file project again because, you know, it was just corrupted for whatever reason. But you can still get access to your content and copy it over to a different project. So how do you do that? Well, first, you have to navigate to where your project is saved. So. What I'm going to be doing today is using my tutorials project as an example. So this is my tutorials project. This is the tutorials um, um, Unreal Engine 5 project that I generally make my tutorials in, right? Now we're going to pretend that this project has been corrupted and now I'm using this project called My Project 6. So let's just pretend, you know, you want to copy over your, well, I want to copy over my tutorials content over to My Project 6, at least, you know, like a folder or two, just for example purposes. <laughs> And now if I wanted to do that, what I would first have to do is navigate to the path. Now, instead of now, if you are real quick, if you don't already have like a designated Unreal Engine uh, folder for your projects and all Unreal Engine projects um, uh, or Unreal Engine uh, content specifically, I definitely recommend you making one being neat. What words? <laughs> words cannot express the importance in being neat, especially when it comes to things in related to our, um, in relation to Unreal Engine. Or, or actually um, anything really, but especially like, you know, game design or, or field creation. Because when you're, you know, developing, you have so many different assets and so many different folders and subfolders. You're really going to want a neat place to, you know, a, a neat uh, path to, to navigate to find, you know, whatever it is you're looking for. So if you don't already have that set up, I definitely recommend it. With, uh, with that said, if you don't have that set up and you don't know where your project's been saved, if you go inside of the Epic installer, go in library, and you just hover over your project. You don't even have to click it, just hover over it. You'll see it says compatible with, which means it's telling you that the engine it was made with, as well as the path. So if you navigate to that path, you will find your project. Now we have my tutorials project right over here. So this is perfect. And inside of this, of this uh, tutorials project, we have my content folder. This is the only folder we care about. If this thing is broken, I can't open this project anyway. Nothing else matter other than this content folder. And in the content browser, there's a folder called content. Same as here in the file exposure, file exploder. Uh, I said exploder again. I meant explorer. <laughs> so if I was to open it, now you're seeing all of the stuff that's inside um, my content folder. Now this is what it this is generally how it looks inside of our engine. Um, and so that's perfect. Now, if I wanted to copy over, let's say I want to copy over uh, my barcode folder. Uh, let's just start with the barcode folder, right? And I want to copy that into my you, uh, my project six. So that's one the one I have here. Now, as you can see in the content folder, right? If I go to uh, content, this is go to all and then open content. There is no barcode folder here yet. So we're about to actually add it. Now, to do that, all I have to do is right click on it, hit copy, and then inside of the My Project, um, my project 6 um, folder, just open up the content, and you will see something very similar to what you're looking at um, inside of our Engine 5. So inside of the content, I do see some uh, extras. I see external actors, external objects, stuff like that. Don't worry about it. Um, what I want to do is just focus on the objective in this video, which is to paste. Now, if I was to paste that folder, you can see, you literally see it being updated inside of Unreal Engine 5. So if I was to open it, what happens? Well, now I have QB, I have QBV2, I have Material, Material 003. I have everything. Everything that I have uh, done 
has been, you know, copied over perfectly. Everything that was inside of that barcode folder has been copied over per perfectly. If I was to go inside of the content of my tutorials, open barcode, this is the exact same stuff. And you also notice that there was not a single error message. So let's try that again. Let's try that for, hmm, what should we try it with? Uh, let's try it for the new world maps, All right? And you know what, let's actually do it for QB as well. So again, right click, copy, go to my project, and we'll just leave it outside the folders and hit paste. Now, can't really see it being updated in here because it's being covered currently. But if you look, you see two changes to source content files have been detected. Would you like to import them? Hit import. Now go ahead and just let's just hit import all. Now I'm pretty sure that's in reference to the QB, as you can see here. Perfect. So QB V2 has been uh, imported as well as the material, as well as oh, uh, you know what? I think um, QB V2. Wasn't there another one? Oh, yeah, there was another one. Let's see. Let's see, QBV2. And what happened to the QBV2 V2? <laughs> Original on the names, I know, right? <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm not exactly sure why this one. I wonder if I accidentally hit um combine message. So combine it into one. We're gonna find out. Um actually. No, that's in here. Yeah, this is my project six. That's right there. Okay, so here, let's try this. If I was to open this and I see nothing in regards to QB V2 V2, right? I mean, you get how the project works. Um, I mean, how the process works. But I'm gonna just try this one again. And if I hit paste, let's replace that file. Nothing's changing. So what you can do is evidently go in here Let's rename this to try me now. Now, if I wanted to import, just do the same thing again. Try me now. A change to source content file has been detected. Let's hit import. Now you can see, I wonder if I go to the combined meshes. Yeah, so that's not selected. So I don't know why I did not import the first time. But let's see if this import now. Try me now. Perfect. Now we have try me now. Excellent. So as you can see, if for whatever reason you go to import something and it doesn't work, just try renaming it and then re-importing it and you're good to go. Um, yeah, that's it, folks. <laughs> that is literally it. This is how you can go ahead and recover uh, content from a deleted or corrupted, well, not deleted, just a corrupted uh, project file. Because if you do delete your Unreal Engine project, I'm pretty sure all the content inside of it gets deleted as well. I don't think that's recoverable. But if for whatever reason you can no longer open it, maybe it got corrupted or broken or anything else, this is how you can still get access to um, your content. That way you can copy and paste it over to a new different project. That way is you basically lost nothing. So that's really all I have for you today, folks. Hopefully you learned something from this tutorial because I know. I know what it's like to be a beginner and to have a corrupted folder or at least a corrupted project. And you're just like, no, my content, you know, then you're going Google or Bing or whatever search engine. They look up, uh, you know, could not, um, <laughs> could not compile resource, uh, uh, could not compile on my engine, how to fix, you know, something like that. And then you'll get a bunch of answers and none of them will really work. Uh, but this will. So with that said, I'll leave you to your UE5 endeavors. Best of luck on your project, folks, because as I always like to say, it's difficult when you don't know what you're doing. That's the reason I make these tutorials.